That is our first match for the women's singles title here at the Thai Masters. And the home support is going to be shared here because it's an all-Thai women's final. There's Jinder Bunn. She is the top-ranked Thai player in the world. She won the uh, Bitburger Masters in Germany last year, born in Phuket. And she's also represented her country with distinction at the Asian Games and the Uber Cup as well. And her opponent, Pompomi Chochuwon, who's still a teenager, 19 years of age, already ranked 23 in the world. She has been inside the top 20, incidentally, as well. She won a silver at the World Juniors a couple of years ago in Bill Bowen's paint. It's still a learning curve for her, um, Steen, but she's shown immense promise in her short career today. Yeah, and it's uh, good for her to um, to reach the final here. She's had um, a quick glance at her match yesterday, and um, we can see that both she and her coaches were really, really happy. First time, as you saw, these two have met competitively, although you would imagine they'll still know a fair amount about, about uh, each other's game. So the pleasantry is over, we're going to have a short knock-up and then we'll be, we'll be uh, underway for what could be a fascinating battle here. What what do you think uh, Chocha Wong has to do um, Steve, to make this really competitive? How how potentially could she rattle the number one seed? Well I'm actually uh, a bit in the dark about it because I haven't really seen her play a lot and um, I have one question mark here and uh, I think it's really really concerning for both players because they're both wearing quite heavy strappings on their thighs and, and the knee as well on um, Pompawi uh, Chuchuwong uh, as we see the uh, road to the final here for uh, Jindapun. Yeah, she was just taken to that third game in the semi-final. Everything else was straight games and, and relatively comfortable too. It was a, a real marathon, that game with Che yesterday. Terrific match. I hope you were with us and enjoyed it. It was um, the outcome was in the balance pretty much throughout to the last couple of minutes. Uh, there's Chokki Wong's profile. Born in uh, Rayong. Confirmation she's uh, going to be 20 next birthday. Certainly the biggest stage that she's played on to date. She won uh, a team gold Southeast Asia Games last year and also the individual bronze in that event. So she's had some experience uh, tournament-wise in front of uh, reasonable-sized crowds, but obviously a bit of added pressure playing on home soil here. And we're talking about Sea Games Team Gold, the um, uh, royalty. This tournament is named after Aurora. Highness Princess Sirewana Wai. She actually won Team Gold herself with the Thailand Badminton team in the Sea Games in 2005. Ready to play. So, who's going to make an early statement of intent here? It's important for Tochi Wong not to let Dindapon dictate early. He certainly won't need any encouragement. <laughs> Let's 
let's hope that's just a precautionary bandage on that thigh. Yeah, but uh, fortunately, uh, it's not so common to have these uh, uh, thigh bandages as precaution. It's very often because you're not 100% um, fit injury-wise, so um, <coughs> let's hope that we uh, still get a really, really good and exciting match here in the Ladies final. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ninja on the double, Thailand. And on my left, Mumbawi Tutuong, Thailand. Mumbai way to do want to serve. Love or play. So oh, here we go. Finals day underway here in Bangkok. Sorry, <laughs> so A very delicate touch from the number one seed. One. Love. Long. Two, love. Well, that will make her feel a lot better. First point on the board and decent overhead too. the back by the way if you've with us yesterday you'll have heard the one front of two. their percussion work and some um, members of the army actually that are here uh, to support of course all the Thai players but uh, in particular uh, men's doubles player Three. tin it's Renette that we're going to see in the last match of today's finals uh, together with his partner uh, Namde because uh, Tim is Renette is uh, employed by the army, practices uh, for the national off. team, but Two, involved three. in the army. Well, that uh, serve was treated with contempt, really, by Chochi Wong. Petuosity of youth there. Eh? Well, if that's the kind of uh, thing we're going to be in for over the next hour or so, or longer, it's going to be a very entertaining final between these two women. Four, two. No chance. Play. Light used on the opposite oh, side oh, of the uh, oh, is to so oh, yeah, that, that would have been very distracting. She's oh, right in her eye line, still there actually.
I saw yesterday that um, Jindapun was a little bit slow out of the uh, starting blocks, so to speak. And uh, one of the uh, possible explanations could be this, that um, she felt that she uh, would have a great chance of winning the final here. She knew when she went on court that she was going to play her compatriot. Oh, that's two in a row. Oh. She's landed to that forehand side of Cho Chu Wong. Nowhere near that one. A much, much better start today. Just angled the racket head. Just inside the sideline, perfect. 6-2. And showing excellent cool. judgment too. Nearly played that and then realised it was going to float beyond the baseline. Taken by the drift, we discussed that um, there's a drift here in uh, the Nimibuta Stadium. Coming from the side where Chocho Wong was playing towards Jindapan and makes it. Um, Sometimes it makes it difficult for both sides. Yesterday, the far side of the court that was um, the winning side Three. of women's singles because Damn it helped the players um, in their attacking game. In men's singles, it's, it was the opposite side. It was the near side of the court that was better because they could really push the opponents and make the court big. game Cho Chun Wong she's got to be awful careful pushing her shots to that um, baseline there and that might um, hamper her game a little bit I must admit I did not pay close enough attention to her match that was played on the adjacent court yesterday so I'm not sure on which side she uh, she started out Nine, that match three. So Dijapon off to a bit of a flyer here. Two or three winners, and she's also benefited from a similar number of errors from her opponent. Jindapon's turn to go wide. Kind of run around, play Dead. that around the head forehand oh. because it gives them a full view of their opponent. Obviously, you get more power too than trying to play it on the backhand. The last point potentially before the interval if Dindapon wins it. It's a very healthy lead towards the chair in 11-4. Probably a fair reflection of the play we've seen so far. I don't think it's the Chochu Wong's been overall. She's been outplayed rather and she's made those unforced errors which uh, Steen mentioned. It's taken nine minutes.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Very good atmosphere here in uh, the Nimiport Stadium, um, especially for an all Thailand or same country oh. final. Play. They are often um, um, a little bit more quiet than when it's players from opposing countries playing each other because when you play a player from your own country, it's difficult for the audience to side with one of the two players, but. Um, Leon is taking care of that, we can say, by well, engaging well, in the match. Well, I, I'm not sure they were on um, marching drill maneuvers yesterday. It sounds no. like choral practice was the order of the day. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jindapon has eased herself into a, an eight-point lead here. Chocha Wong needs to do something to stop the rot pretty soon. see here that she's really trying the right thing uh, or at least part of the right thing by attacking the problem for her is that um, Jindapan is, is playing really good defensively right now and she can't really use power to uh, Jindapan's backcourt to sort of make Jindapan's court big and, and create openings so able to get through and attack in a very, very uh, one-sided affair so far. Service all. Five. Thirteen. A rare mistake from the 26-year-old. wasn't a great shot from uh, Jim Dupont, and much on it, and a pretty easy kill for the teenager. She'll be teenager for just eight more days. Next Monday, times 20. Well, a few more encouraging signs. Yeah, it's very important for um, for Cho Chuang to get her game going here. Even if she should uh, lose this first game, she's quite a bit behind. Uh, I mean, we shouldn't rule it out, but but uh, in all likelihood, she will end up losing this first game. But it's really important that she. Uh, Gets a game going and gets some kind of confidence because, I mean, in order to win this Service match, off. she will have to play that Martin. far side of the court Seven. one more time in an eventual third game. But uh, then again, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So far, a really good performance by uh, Nietzsche and Jindapong. Done by uh, Top Chi Wong. Really had the number one seed scampering across court. Yeah, beautifully played. Good anticipation and excellent execution.
15. I think that was a very long smash rather than a really, really flat clear. That shot from uh, Jindapong. On the Pitburger Open uh, in, uh, in November by beating Jiang Bei Wen in the final. Excellent match. Excellent badminton. level at the moment for the tie player yeah just got a footwork in a bit of a tangle there touch you on It's not just a game of power, a lot of subtlety involved as well. I think Jinder Pond's experience coming to the fore again at the end of that rally. Yeah, quite satisfied with the result there. Well played. about this uh, game hasn't there since probably the first few points mentally you would imagine Oku Wong has conceded it obviously they keep playing here but 19-9 they the mountain to climb 19 9 Floating out, but it was uh, well in in the end. But still, the lady in pink just a couple of points away from taking this first game. It's long and in a pretty quick time, Fast game, 21 points to 11 on in, in favour of Jindapon. And it's really given Chochi Wong some 
attempting to ponder here. 19 minutes it took. played without the use of coaches since both players come from Thailand. It's very, very common that uh, it's players from the same country, there's no coaching. Well, both keen to get back on court, it seems. Second game. Money wise, by the way. $11,250 US, that is, for the winner here. And about half that for the runner. And what's going to be interesting to see here in the uh, beginning of the second game is whether Nietzsche and Jindapan in fact has a grip on her younger compatriot and really knows how to outmaneuver Pompawi, Chu Chung Wang, or the result in the first game was all due to the uh, drift and the conditions. And there's a side drift there. She was not aware of that at all. Chu Chung Wang, side drift coming from left to right. That was better. One, she manages to adjust two. to that drift in the second game. Yesterday she played really well on that far side of the court where she had to attack because playing patient was not an option. It was simply too difficult to play with accuracy to the back court. That helped her back on track against um, Sonia Chia. Well in. Two, three. wasn't deep enough the lift flat shot from Jindapan there and a little bit shake of the head here with uh, Chu Chu Wong her in and then she was always favorite to win the point after that she set it up beautifully Oh. 
three, five. Didn't expect that service error. Best favoured that. Nice serve in the match so far, predominantly. Cyrus on. Six. At the moment, three. Wong just making too many errors. Rally, not the longest of the match, but probably one of the most entertaining. And a big point for Chochi Wong to win, just to try and stem the flow a little bit. side where plays a little bit up against the drift but drift affects different shots differently so this was a quite fast paced shot and, and the drift doesn't get it so much doesn't break it so much as you would expect it to be that's long, long again and I'm not sure that um, Chu Chu Wong is uh, coming back into this match here as you said, Trevor, there's, there's a bit too many uh, errors in the mix. And falling behind here must take its toll on her self-confidence. She's just never really settled. Whereas Gindapon came out, first three or four points, she was all over her opponent. And Chochi Wong hasn't been able to recover. And if she's not careful, this could be all over in double quick time. What's that again? Ten. Four. She's got high standards. <laughs> so just yeah. banging her forehead like, what have I done when she missed that? There we are. <laughs> Quite allowed to miss occasionally. Ones won successive points. Maybe there's a little uh, mini recovery Seven. coming here. Ten. is starting to become a little more interesting now. Yeah, it's four easy mistakes in my opinion by, by Jindapun and 
I think it's um, a little bit sluggish. I think she's got the feeling right now that she's going to win this match. But I um, think a good idea to, to get your opponent started. Yeah, complacency is the enemy of any sportsman or woman. Oh, beautifully done. Wrong-footed. Nine. upon. And now there's just a point between the two of them in this second game. was in just on the line and I think of the two Jindapon's going to be the happier to go to the chair now just to collect her thoughts a little bit clearly just inside the line in the end so no problem no challenge we do have Hawkeye by the way in operation players have two challenges per game and they don't lose them if they're correct she has the lead there were just a few signs in the last few again. minutes that she won might be capable of finding a way back into this match yeah and so much for your prediction that she would have no chance of doing that or, or was it mine I, I think we both said it I think <laughs> she took five straight points after that so um, Still siding with uh, Jindapon to take this title here, and uh, along with it, 7,000 points to the World Ranking and to the HSBC BWF World Tour ranking that decides who is qualifying for the final in December month in Bonjol. Uh, eight best players in each category will qualify. Well, that was terrific play. And Jindapon coming out on top. Excellent dexterity and use of angles by both women there. Yeah, those finals, in Grand Show in December, the top eight. Top eight men, women, men's and women's doubles and mixed doubles teams will be there. It's the 27th tournament to bring you this year. Right round the globe. Sneaked that over, but it didn't. That would have been a heartbreaker for Joshua Wong hey. if Jindapon had got no. a net called there. Thought about it. He started to stay on her side in the end. That run of points before the break for uh, Chu Chuang makes it believable for her and I think if uh, the break had come at 11-4 that would have been an unsaleable lead for uh, Jindapan almost. seeing a, a competitive final this is starting to get that way and she's getting good pressure on her lifts or and also good, uh, the correct height there precisely flat enough to put Jindapan under pressure Yeah. 
Now, oh. But for the first time since they started this game, Chochi Wong is on level terms. Very good call. Most Charging. players would be tempted to play no. that one because I can tell you it's only the last centimeters or so that it uh, drifts the final distance long. A normal judgment of that would say that's going to be inside the lines. Establish their authority. Cardin. Smash oh. was angled ideally away from her opponent. Second Sammy thoughts Sarr. about using that high serve again Martin. in the near future. Because <laughs> a couple of times, Tochi Wong's just dispatched it. Yeah, really good placement of the first smash and, and great follow up by the young Thai player. Continues to be nip and tuck. 14 all now. The second game. Again, like in the beginning of the second game, she also read the cross lift way, way too short and punished immediately. Defense into oh. attack. The actions. Oh. Challenge of this final, it was called out. Quickly raised her arm. I don't think she's going to get any joy, but it's worth a go. Yeah, not particularly close, really. But I guess she's got two to spare or one now in this second game. One challenge. Remaining 16, 15, play. That was right on the line. Yeah. So it's all. It was. Sacrificed a bit of speed oh. there. 
played it very accurate. You could see she was, she was willing it in, Jinder Pond, but just beyond the baseline. Got a nose in front again now. Well, it was spellbinding stuff, and just a pity it ended with uh, an error with Cho Cho Wong overhitting. As there was some Sarah terrific did. defense, oh. particularly from uh, Jindapon in that rally. Forty-three shots worth of it. to tile down and in my opinion that's quite telling that she is the one asking to tile down we go a little bit more to her that long rally than to Jindapan Good to say a minute ago, Steen, I wondered whether Jindapon might tense up a little bit with possibly the winning line in sight, but it appears to be the other way. It appears that Sochi Wong's just gone off the boil. And, and still, I mean, should she lose the second game, Jindapon, she must be kicking herself for taking a little bit too loose just before the interval here. That's really what's hurting her now, those five points. Yeah, good anticipation. Service off. Acid off. It's on that like a flash. So still right in the balance this second game. Linda upon three points away from the title. Looking one three points away from taking us to a deciding game. Considered a challenge there, but thought better of it. Might have been worth a go. Agenda upon two championship points. And there it is. In some way less than an hour, 
and the expression tells you everything. Big title on home soil for Nichiren Jindapon. Her opponent, Cho Chu Wong, made a much better fist of it in that second game. And just couldn't really live with a more experienced fellow countrywoman. Match one by the 26-year-old. That's this title to the one she won in Germany last year. Not going to hurt her not ranking any either. And for Chokyu Wong, let's think, well, maybe a little bit of a learning experience for her. That's the last point. I don't think the teenager can have any real points. Jindapon was better play on the day. Even though there was just a moment in that second game where it looked as though the youngster might be sensing a recovery. Three quarters of an hour, 21-11, 21-18. presentation shortly. It seemed like to me she probably had the majority of the support. That's one guy who's got the uh, shuttle put in his collection at home. So the presentation party will be with us uh, imminently. เอาล่ะครับเดี๋ยวทําพิธีมอบเป็นอย่างแรกเลยนะครับขอเรียนเชิญนะครับการมอบรางวัลรองชนะเลิศให้แก่คุณพรปวีช่อชูวงนะครับ
Congratulations to our competitors we'll, of the we'll Princess Iwanawari Thailand Masters 2018 presented by CPF and True Corporation. ขอขอบคุณมากเลยนะครับขอบคุณทุกท่านด้วยนะครับเสียงปรบมือให้กับนักกีฬาของเราอีกสักรอบด้วยนะครับขอบคุณมากเลยครับอ่าเดี๋